interesting retreat. What is it all about? I think it's about redefining the NISA spirit in a bolder way and a more team way than individ individual visioner, visioner's way. So I see collectivity to tackle issues arising from our work. I think the, the theme of survival of medical practice in a dwindling economy is confirming that we don't want to lose standards because life is priceless. So whether the economy is dwindling or is not dwindling, we must pull together a correct team of people and materials and environment to make sure we don't disappoint our patients despite the fact that the, there's not enough money flowing in the system, so. Everything to feel me the right person to declare this retreat open, so I want us on the high table to all get up. Please join me to declare NISA 2016 retreat. It was all about sitting down as a family to assess the achievements of NISA in the past and also plan for NISA in the future. That was just all we came here to do. Is medical care in a dwindling economy. We do accept and acknowledge the challenge of uh, financial challenges in the economy in Nigeria. NISA is not isolated from that economy. Uh, we do ac acknowledge that it may, we may have more challenges to offer medical care, but the retreat it's, is supposed to assess the situation, uh, review these challenges, and devise method and mechanisms to improve medical care despite these challenges. So we, we, we hope to partner with various organizations and and individuals and we have to look inward too to ensure that we are able to offer more care, we are able to improve on the quality of our service, we are able to meet more of our patients' needs despite the economy. Um, I'm part of uh, the team of NISA in uh, retreat and I have been very, very productive on my own experience. Despite my previous experience in other countries, I never feel like part of a team or a family team like how I feel in NISA. I think the retreat is a very good uh, and important idea to improve the, first of all, the quality care of the hospital, of health care givers, because uh, we need to step forward every time to improve the quality of care for our patients. And then I hope after this retreat, my expectations are a, a lot of them for a good improvement on the quality care of NISA, better than what we did in 2015. For organizing such a brilliant retreat, but before I came here, I was expecting first to know the performance for the year of the various subunits, both clinical and non-clinical. I was also expecting to know the challenges they were facing, the bottleneck areas. But more importantly, I wanted to detect that feeling of team spirit and a can-do spirit. That was a key expectation that whatever challenges would have been discussed here or exposed here, we were equally up to the task of and, uh, and courageous enough to see out the solutions. And uh, if you wanted to know whether my expectations were met, 
I can tell you that my expectations have been exceeded. Well, um, when you have the right team in place, you will always achieve whatever is said before you within a short period of time. I had the right team of people in my committee. I mean, I'm proud of them. They worked like hell, and indeed, we were able to achieve all this because of the caliber of people I worked with in my team. Uh, I must mention here that the, managing the, the medical director of the hospital, Dr. Joshua Foley, drove the process indirectly. He was very, very, he was of great assistance to the committee. And it was, I can't say this is my achievement. It is an achievement that was um, uh, achieved by the committee as a team and not by me as an individual. experience has been it has been wonderful I I least expected what I saw the standard was wow that's just what I have to say the role of programs the whole arrangement was wonderful lovely well uh, the retreat uh, has been a, 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 an experience of uh, all type of stuff bring out their, 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 their own ideas, their own uh, challenges, the uh, problems they have been facing, and then at, at the same time, the way to improve and make it those issues who become challenges in 2015 to not be repeated in the coming year. I think the uh, retreat is a, a very uh, good uh, way to improve quality care as a team, because we always need to work as a team. That's the idea of the retreat. Well, I, I feel I, if, if I were to give it a mark, zero to a hundred, I would have thought it's above the 65% level offhand. No particular uh, tools of measurement. But that's not, it, it's not that score that's the important aspect. It is whether there is progress from the past. And that's glaring. There's no doubt in my mind that in terms of team spirit, in terms of numbers, in terms of value added to the lives of patients, in terms of risk management, we, we are on the move positively. Um, so even though I haven't used any, used any specific tools for measurement, what is very glaring to me and gratifying to me is that, you know, it's a trend that's on, you know, on a fast lane for that matter.
committed to introduce research and development because we are hope to the data rest, uh, rest in the hospital. So at this retreat, just um, well, in summary, I will say, well, we thank God for this opportunity we are given to serve as uh, the 2016 NISA Hospital Retreat Committee. And um, my final words would be that whatever came out of this committee, or this retreat, sorry, uh, should be put into practical use to improve on um, the image and, of course, the business of NISA Premier Hospital. because we have been working for early hours of the day, but what we brought out is the most important thing. We brought out new ideas, new plans, and new uh, um, proposals for the new year that will be on the benefit. The retreat has come and has achieved a lot. Thus, we hope that we will take the feedback from the retreat and implement it across the organization. So we are going to have organizational change management that will be driven across the entire organization and will involve all staff. So staff are going to be involved in critical decision making and implementation of those decisions to achieve the goals that will be set out from this retreat. This is the best retreat that NISA has ever held. And it it shows that working as a team, you can do better than working as you know a small, a very small group, or as in an individual. I think it has redefined this as an international organization. It has also redefined the fact that you know people say sky is the limit, but the sky keeps shifting. As I said, the universe is expanding. So, what sky are you calling is your limit? So, it's like. We, we, are, we are running on a, on a at par with what is expected of the changes in the universe. So I'm very, very happy about that. and also as a worker in Nisa. 
not it is not just for you it is not just for me this is what I would like to it is an, it is an it's a national experiment that we can we can do spirit that I've seen here tells me I go to bed if it's two eyes I used to close before I'm looking for a third one to close because I have capable hands